<sighs> Padding! Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and today it's the Among Us video that I promised Carl Pine Gaming. I'm not playing Among Us, this is more of a cautionary tale uh, to all up and coming content creators about maybe playing a game you don't actually really care about, but it's synonymous with your channel and also playing with viewers. So let's get into it with a little bit of backstory. So Among Us came out on um, iOS and Android. Nobody really played it, but then a few years later, while we're all stuck in lockdown, every single streamer and content creator ended up making videos on Among Us and playing it. I wasn't interested. Basically, Among Us is an evolution of the game Mafia. If you don't know what Mafia is, you and a group of like, I think a minimum of five people, seven people. Um, at the beginning of the game, you each draw a, a card from a deck, and the people who have like the king card are the Mafia. And the point of the Mafia is they want to kill the civilians, and the civilians want to get rid of the Mafia. So the idea is that each round you have a discussion accusing each other to be the Mafia or the civilians. By the way, the Mafia know who the other Mafia are. And essentially you're just like arguing, arguing, and then you do a voting phase and the person with the most votes get kicked out and they reveal whether they're the Mafia and the civilians. The only way for the civilians to win is to kick out all the Mafia, and the only way for the Mafia to win is to have one civilian and one Mafia, so... Or two Mafia and two civilians or something like that. Basically, on par with each other, then that means the Mafia wins. Among Us is essentially an evolution of that, but instead of having Mafia and civilians, you have a crewmate and an imposter. So the idea is that crewmates will go off and do tasks while the imposter tries to kill people. So the way the imposter wins is to either kill everyone or have, uh, yeah, just basically kill everyone or have an imposter and one crewmate because that crewmate can't win and the imposter can just kill them. Crewmates can win by fighting out all the imposters or doing all their tasks. So basically, uh, in like 2021, the game was slightly dying down and shorts were becoming a thing. Um, I started doing YouTube shorts and I was getting some relatively success. I started doing a lot of animations with my shorts because they're a shorter form video and doing a very long animation on a, like a YouTube video for 10 minutes, that's a lot of animations to do. So I was like, shorts perfect for my animations. And I looked at the designs for the characters in uh, Among Us and I was like, that should be easy to animate. This is perfect. So, I was like, what What can I do for the video? What can, what can I do for the short? And the whole short was basically the red cat Among Us, who was popular at the time, was my roommate and he used up all the milk and didn't replace it. And the whole point was I was like, who used all the milk? Uh, the red character would appear and then it would do the sound effect as it like zooms in on him and it's like darkens the area around him and it's really suspicious and I just go red sauce. That was the short. Three days later, uh, it got over half a million views for what the time my regular videos were getting five views and my other shorts were getting a, about a thousand views, a couple of ten thousand views one. Basically, it was like, oh my god, this is amazing. At the time, I didn't know a uh, short time didn't actually count for your watch time. And I was like, I really want to get into YouTube. I want to be able to start making money on YouTube because I had left Twitch like late 2020 because of the whole DMCA thing there. I'm now back on Twitch, don't worry about it. But essentially, I left Twitch and I was like, I need to start making money on YouTube. So, okay, I need, I need to get the watch time. So I started live streaming and because of my uh, synonymous with uh, the Among Us short, I thought, yeah, you know what, maybe playing Among Us and playing with viewers might be a great way to get watch time. It was. It was definitely a great way to get watch time. There was just some problems. Number one was the game is very repetitive, obviously, and doing the same tasks over and over and over again on the same map got boring pretty quickly. Number two, it was very easy for people to impersonate uh, friends or other people because, you know, at the time when the game came out for years, it wasn't until like 2022, I think, when they actually finally introduced like having having to create an account and having your own name and stuff and ID number. 
was essentially people could come in and pretend to be the other people I was playing with and uh, mess around. And since the game was very popular, it was popular with a, um, let's just say, a younger fan base. And younger fan bases, oh my god. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you know. It's, it's very frustrating. Uh, they took the game way too seriously. And I was just like, I don't care. I'm just trying to have fun. That was fine. But then something else started happening. See, the game was quite easily um, exploitable. You could essentially make multiple accounts, uh, run them simultaneously, and essentially start mass kicking everybody. Also, the game was super easy to hack. Almost everybody had a hacked version of this game, apparently. So hackers could easily come into your lobby and just mass kick everyone or reveal all the uh, posters. And not to mention the fact that you're also streaming this game and you could easily um, expose yourself as the imposter. Pretty much every time I was the imposter, someone would hit the uh, alarm thing to say, yes, yeah, Salty's the imposter. I saw it on stream. Or someone dies in the game and immediately types it out in the stream chat. Oh, by the way, this person killed me. And you're like, okay, right, we're, we're trying to play a game here. Yeah, we're having fun with it. We're not taking it too seriously. But if you're just telling me who the killer is, it's not fun. And if you're basically going, oh, yeah, Salty's the killer. What chance do I have? I, you know, I could set up stream delay, but... <sighs> yeah, maybe I should have done that. But I, I was just like, this is annoying. But back to the hacking. Jesus Christ, the amount of mass kicking and hacking got ridiculous. Mainly because... I kind of amped up my frustrations a little bit. At first, I wasn't too annoyed, but I would be over the top reacting, screaming, oh my god, this is the most annoying thing in the world. And, um... From what I got from a lot of people, it was they liked it. It was funny. They liked my over-the-top exaggerations of being annoyed. But the issue was this, was it was giving attention to all the mass kickers, the hackers and everything. So pretty much by the end of it, it was a hacker every single time I streamed the game. And I was just getting frustrated because originally I was like, oh, whatever, it happens every so often, who cares? And it was literally happening every lobby, every game. Every time I played with viewers, it would happen. Somebody would come in, it'd be the same hackers over and over again. Oh, sorry. Running out of air. And then they start threatening me in the game, like, I'm gonna dox you real life, I know where you live and stuff. And you're just like, Jesus Christ, it's fucking Among Us. Ah. Uh, so you would stop giving them attention and they get more annoyed and be more threatening. So eventually, uh, as soon as I got the YouTube amount of time required, the 4,000 watch hours, I slowly faded off playing Among Us. I just stopped doing it. I was like, I don't even care about this game. This game is... It's okay. With a group of friends, like five or ten people you actually know, it could be a lot of fun. But playing with randoms who like take this game way too seriously, and a lot of time I would have to open it up to public. So not even people for my stream, just so we can fill up the lobbies quicker. And some people, oh my god, like... Yeah, they they definitely need to go outside and touch grass. But anyway, I eventually was like, I'm, I'm done with this game. And I just stopped streaming it for months on end. And then I would do a bonus stream and saw the numbers, all the viewers weren't coming back, essentially. And at that point, I think it's been over a year now since I've last played it and I have no desire to play it again. But there, yeah, this is a cautionary tale of essentially don't play a game you don't really care about and don't play with viewers. Or play with people from the public because especially if the game is super exploitable. I mean, my god, the amount of hackers we got. And I'm pretty sure there was like some people who were pretending they weren't the hackers but were contacting the hackers or were the hackers themselves. Who were like, oh, Salty's playing this. Let's go in and play this game again. Oh, no, the hacker has suddenly appeared. That is crazy. It's the same hacker as before. And you're like, oh, my God. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I definitely don't recommend playing with viewers. I know a lot of you are going to watch this and be like, oh, my God. What the hell is he saying? We're not all like that. But it can be very frustrating at times. Especially when they want attention. Like, they're on the stream, they're on the stream, they're watching, and they want to be like, Oh, look, 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 I'm, I'm on the stream. 
And a lot of the time they will just follow you around, they will just stick really close to you, and it's just like, I can't... I can't do anything. And the, the killer's just like, well, I can't do anything. But yeah, it's... It was frustrating, and also, even if something slightly doesn't annoy you, but you over the top get annoyed by it, uh, it gives people attention, and they like, oh, this person's annoyed by this, that's funny, let's keep doing it. So, if you are annoyed by something, best thing I can recommend is to pretend you're not annoyed, and move away from it. Um, if it keeps happening in a game, maybe just stop playing the game. Just just be like, I'm not, I'm not playing this game. And don't even announce that you're not playing this game, just stop playing it and then people will just move on. But yeah, if you show any sign of weakness or annoyance at something that the public can have some sort of input in or control and they notice you getting annoyed by it, they're going to amp it up to 11. So don't do that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah, this was kind of a rambly video that I'm barely even going to edit or touch. Can't, can't really be asked. Goodbye. Morse. Marvelous. Together on the track. Let's go. Red sus, red sus. 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 Red sus, sus.